Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I'm a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop five minute tip. And today what we're gonna be doing is adding water to our scene. So I've got this image off of unsplash.com. It's a really cool picture of a man, you know, jumping in the forest. And I thought we could use this picture uh, to add some water to it. This is the picture of the water I'm going to use. Again, this was off of unsplash.com. You can use both of these pictures, download them for free and practice on your own. Now, the first thing I want to do is cut out the model. So I've already done that. I've got a picture of this model on its own layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my water layer, which is right here. I'm going to control click on the man and then I'm going to hit my layer mask button and then I'm going to control I to invert that and now we have uh, the man is cut out of the water image. All right, the next thing we want to do is figure out where we're going to cut the um, picture of the water at. So where is it going to be at on this man? So I'm thinking, uh, you may have a different thinking, but I'm thinking we're going to put it right about where the knees are at. So I'm just going to paint white right on this layer mask, which is going to uh, bring the water back to where this man is at. And now he is submerged into water at knee deep length water. So what we want to do now is we want to paint black and figure out where we want the water line to stop. And so I'm thinking somewhere right in here, it's going to stop. So I'm just going to paint black right on that water layer. And then I'm just going to paint black on the bottom part here uh, to reveal the forest below. After that, I'm going to go up here to the sky. We don't want those clouds in the scene. So I'm just going to erase these clouds. And now we have our water that is around this model. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my background layer, make sure you're below the water and the man, and we want to uh, make our background a little bit darker. This water is very dark. See, if you were to sample some of these dark blacks in the water, you see how dark it is. Uh, and so I want to use that color to paint a little bit, but I'm just gonna make it a little bit more brown, kind of like that. Then I'm gonna to go to my background and just start painting some really dark colors right in the forest. And what that's gonna do is just gonna make the background a lot darker and uh, you don't have to completely hide the trees. Uh, you don't want to hide all of the trees, but you wanna make it a little bit darker back there. Same thing for the uh, below the water surface. We wanna take some of those dark blues and kind of paint on the grass below, which is just gonna make it a little bit darker and add a little bit more uh, color to it. And then get some of your lighter blues that are already in the scene and just paint those kind of towards the top of the surface of the water. All right, now what we want to do is we want to make the, the man's legs, which are below the water, we want to make this look that it's like it's underwater. So we want to do a levels adjustment on the man, and we want to match that background as best we can. So let's tone down our whites right here. Let's tone down our blacks. We can even add a little bit of uh, uh, blue in these colors by adding some blue or taking out red. We just really want to match up that uh, color as best as we can. And then, of course, just you can mask out the top part of the man and leave the bottom part like it is. Another thing that you can do is add a layer on top of it and just sample some of these colors that are already in the water and just paint right over top of that to make it blend. Then we want to go up to our water layer, get a brush, and this is gonna take a little bit of time, but I want you to get a brush and I want you to go to all of these trees and start painting out some of these trees that are about knee length. So about two or three feet above the water surface, paint those out and it looks like they're sticking out of the water. All right, after you've got your trees popping out of the water, the next thing we're gonna do is make a new layer on top of everything. We're gonna add just a little bit of sun here. So we're just gonna add a little bit of yellow colors to the top left here. Just get a nice little orange or yellow light, just kind of paint it right up there and then get another group and put a color dodge blend mode on it. You probably know where we're going with this. And we're just going to add a little bit of glows up here towards the top. So just kind of a little bit of a sun, uh, you know, sun is in the background. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's complementing these blue colors that are in the water. So just a nice little sun that's going to go back in here. Once we've done that, we want to go down to our model and do another levels adjustment on the model. And what we want to do is just take your, your whites down and your blacks in just a little bit to lower that contrast and make it darker. And then what we'll do is we'll just mask out the edges that are facing towards the sun for a nice little rim light. All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish up this project. So what we want to do next is go to our water layer and get a hue and saturation 
uh, adjustment layer on it. And what we want to do is colorize it and we want to make this water the same color as that brown forest in the background. So I'm just gonna get a nice little brown color, desaturate it, make it lighter or darker, uh, just to make sure it matches that forest. And then I'm going to mask out the front part of that water. So the front part is nice and blue, uh, but as it gets further away from the camera, it kind of turns brown matching into the forest. Uh, but that, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I've got for this image. You are welcome to do other you know, edits to this. You can add some bubbles or some fish down to the water if you think that that would be a, a good little detail to add. Do some color grade, whatever you want to do to it. But basically, that's how I like to add water to my scene. Hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you again very soon.